What's going on, guys? We're back. Long, long, long uh, vacation from Game of Thrones mod. Um, I just, uh, you know, kind of got bored of playing the mod. There's nothing really um, that I haven't played, like, on my own and on the channel that um, I haven't wanted to play. So, I kind of got, you know... I don't want to say bored because like this I, I, this mod means a lot to me. I, I love this mod. Uh, this mod was the reason I even bought CK2 in the first place. Um, so it is a big part of you know a big part of life. You know I, I've spent a lot of hours on this mod, um, and I got a lot of comments from people saying they wanted me to come back. I really appreciate that. Um, I don't know why <laughs> he'd want me to come back. There's a lot of better people out there doing this. But I do appreciate it, and I hold it near and dear to my heart. It really means a lot. Uh, so I've got the itch to play again. So we are going to be going with the show that's going to be coming out, House of the Dragon. Um, we are going to be playing the Dance Bookmark. I did a little poll um, to see what region you guys wanted to play in. Um, Stormlands won, but I thought of uh, something else to do. What we're going to do is play two series simultaneously. Um, we are going to start today as... Corley's Valerian. I can't. I hate saying their house name because it's so close to Valerian. But we're gonna go with that. I know somebody's gonna be like, it's not said that way, but I'm gonna say it that way. Um, we're gonna play as Corley's, and then we're also going to play as Bor Rus Boris and Boris. I can't say it. Name. Boris Baratheon. Um, so we're gonna play, you know, at the same time. So I'll put out episode for Corley's. Put out one for the Stormlands with Baratheons. Um, and we're going to play both sides. So we're going to have Corley's, you know, go with the historical, or I guess historical quotation marks, um, with the story uh, backing Rhaenyra. And then we'll have, you know, with the Stormlands coming and backing Aegon II. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I hope everybody enjoys this. Um, like I said, it might be a little rusty coming back. It's been a while. It's been probably, I think, over a year. I think the last time I actually even recorded anything for the channel maybe was like January of 2021. So it's been well over a year. Um, so I appreciate the guys that wanted me to come back. And here we go. We're going to start it off. So we're going to play as Corleys. We are going to um, try to stay historical. We're going to play at, with our traits. So if you ever read Fire and Blood, you know that... Corley's Valarian is an ambitious man. Um, he's not like a big warrior. Um, his whole family were dragon riders, except for him. Because um, as you know, the Targaryens, Valarians mixed. Um, they are from the same high Valyrian culture and um, old Valyria. So, you know, it, it makes sense. But uh, he has never had a dragon. So we're not going to try to go get a dragon. Now, something comes up to where... Um, I don't think anything would, just because, like, you'd have to probably pretty much give him a dragon egg. Uh, we're not going to go try to face any dragons. We're going to try to stay the way we are. So, right now, we are the hand of the king, or hand of the queen, to Rainer. Um, our wife, Rainies, is a dragon rider with, uh, I can't remember, I think it's Maylis, if I'm not mistaken. So, our son and daughter are both dead. They're both dragon riders. Uh, Lena was the last dragon rider of Vagar. So... We are going to do a couple of different things when it comes to matching up kids and stuff. So we got Adam Valarian. He is one of the ones they pulled off to become a dragon rider from the uh, Dragon Seed off of Drift Park in, in Dragonstone. Um, and with his kids being dead, even though uh, the house has 16 members in it, um, they are near legitimized Adam and Alan to uh, be his heirs. So Adam, he's not bad. Uh, the only thing is, is he's under right near, which, I don't know, I, I guess it kind of makes sense in a way. This is what's going to make this hard, is because we really don't have anything but our men and ships. Uh, we do have great stats, um, so we can, you know, he's going to kind of do things from the back on the sh in the shadows. Um, so what we're going to do is, right now we're handed a queen, we don't really need to become a counselor or anything. Uh, I guess we can try to maybe become um, regent right now. We're not going to have any kids. Uh, we could kind of befriend her, but I think, yeah, because our stat, our uh, rating or, or whatever you want to call it, her opinions aren't really that high. I really thought about trying to get our uh, Valerian steel store for our house, 
Uh, we were rather old. I didn't know he was this old in Dance of Dragons. I thought that was a little, uh, high. But I'm not exactly sure. I'd have to look it up. But, uh, like I said, we're not gonna try to tame any dragon eggs or tame a dragon. Like I said, our heir has a dragon. Uh, and his brother has a dragon. So, hopefully, if everything works out, our house will have dragon riders. I don't really want to go around just, like, conquering shit. We're gonna try to build up dra uh, Driftmark, build up Tall, try to get to... See, he starts off with a lot of money, which is really good. Um, so, we could try to build up on Driftmark, maybe put another holding spot in here. What we're definitely going to do is, with, uh, Corley's, our, um... What's, what's that say? Uh, yeah. Um, we're going to do business. Just because he's a uh, chip fairy. He's got, you know, a lot of money off the, the goods he's brought back to Westeros. Um, and our, we are a stewardship focused person. But the thing is with business, now that and the money we have, we can start a bank. Which will eventually make us some money every month. In the beginning, it's kind of hard to uh, do anything. Right now, uh, there probably won't be any other um any other whatever they're called people in the society of our bank until probably the war is over just because everything's all screwed up uh so we will do that we're gonna do that right off the bat so we're gonna start our bank off uh with much pomp and ceremony the new bank has been officially opened lords from all around driftmark have gathered at the grand new bank building and have been given a tour of the impressive vaults and chambers that will hold your initial pile of gold Scribes and coin masters have been hired and are ready to begin issuing loans. So now we have a bank. Um, our coin reserves are 700. Uh, so right now we are the, the leader of that bank. So there will be other people that will eventually join. Uh, in the beginning, it probably only be like people from uh, our house or anybody that's, you know, qualified from Driftmark. So right now we're considered a high counselor. Uh, each person goes, and as you go up, you get certain shares and the amount of shares in the bank, and that bases off like what profit you make from the uh, loans and stuff. You can also cut interest to try to undercut other people. So it does kind of have some, uh, it has some play to it, where like other societies, it's just like, oh, do this task, and, and you know, but, and you get points, whatever. But that one at least gives us a little uh, something to do on the side. Uh, we will forge our own armor, uh, but I think, I'm trying to think if we should wait to do that. We'd still have, like, 400 gold, a little over that. We'll give it a second. Hiring bankers is stupid, it doesn't do anything. It just gives you some guy with, like, 12 stewardship. Now, our, uh, council is terrible. So, we are gonna bring some people in, um, just to fill out some spots. Try to get, like, people that are around our area that makes sense. Um, let's see. And we can't bring Adam back to court. They make it to where it, it can't happen, even when he's adult, I think. So, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Diplo range, yes. We're gonna try to bring in some people that actually have some value to them. Um, we're just gonna do the ones that can come. We're not gonna pay about. So, like, high Valerians and stuff like that, we'll do that. Um, our one treasure isn't bad. He's a black mon. I don't know why we have a Dornish guy up here. Um, he's not bad either, so we'll keep him. Uh, just here, I guess we could probably find the, the Master of Arms, we definitely gotta find somebody uh, a little better than that. I know our uh, commander's really terrible, but I only wanna get people that are near us, like a Rosby, or right over here, like this guy, Puran, he's a King, King's Lander. Uh, so we'll bring him over. We won't bring any people over that are, like, on small council with somebody else. Just because, uh... I don't know. I just don't. I don't want to do that. We'll get people that really don't have much to do, like their commander or something. Their story. Uh, we'll get that guy, but we won't pay for anybody, so we can't like stack up and stuff. So we got a new castle coming. We got. Uh, let me see. Do we have anybody that is available? What good diplomacy that's close to us? We have King's Lander. Do we have any high valerians in this room? Uh, we got that guy. I guess it was too. No, he doesn't have a um, dip diplomatic focus. We'll take the lower guys on the field. We're not going to be doing much in Driftmark when it comes to that, anyways. Um, our Maester is not bad. Could be worse. Um, and our Septon is kind of trash, but you really don't have much of a pick from there. Um, yeah, so he's just got to stay. Alright. I really don't want to bring a lot of people in here, so. 
We can't make like our air our our region or anything, which kind of sucks. But we'll uh, I know we got like a nephew or two. A lot of these kinsmen are like they're they're way past like being um closely related to us. So we can't use them for marriages. We can do uh, the other boys, but like right now we have to get the war to 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 uh, end rather quick. So we'll fill these spots out when everybody comes. She's got good stewardship, so we'll put it. Well, she does have doubles on this, but it's kind of low. What is these stewardship? She's just she's not real closely related. So we do have. Oh, uh, this is a different Alan. Oh no, it is Alan. I thought he had a dragon. What the fuck happened? I swore I just seen his dragon. Maybe he hasn't tamed I, I think he hasn't tamed it yet. Maybe that's the thing. Alright, we'll put him as a uh, marshal. We're gonna go and have him be uh, tutored by our guardian demon. Just because he's like a beast. Um, yeah, Alan. There we go. We're gonna try to get him. Ah, I probably should have waited to do that. I'm gonna try to marry our two heirs to. Uh, the kids of Damon and uh, Lena. Uh, we're not even gonna do this yet. All right, so let's go ahead and unpause for the first time in over a year. <laughs> we'll see what's going on. Uh, the Blair Freehold politics were dominated by 40 families of great wealth, high birth, strong sorceress ability, known as Dragon Lords. They spoke the High Valyrian language and had great skill in shaping stone. Incest and polygamy was common practice among the blood of old Valyria. Ah! So already, Rhaenys has been killed. <laughs> it pretty much happens all the time. Um, Aemon has not been, uh, not burnt or anything. Vagar has not been damaged in any way. So, that right off the bat is done. We need to wait for... We so, yeah, we need to wait nine days. Hopefully, they they usually try to pair them off very quick. So I want to get Alan um, betrothed to one of them rather soon. Now we're not married anymore. We can find a wife. Maybe this way we can find an alliance. Now I want to find some close um, that actually has some like men to it. We're really old, so like the the prospects aren't gonna be that great. Like, we can get a uh, Lias to the north, but they are so far away. I wonder if she would do it. I highly doubt it. Even if we did matrilineal, it wouldn't really matter. Because we already have heirs. Uh, she doesn't have any kids. It would get us a non-aggression pack. Which we more than likely can get an alliance in case something comes down the road. So it's almost worth doing. He's so old, I don't see him having any kids anyways. So, I think we'll just do this. Just for your alliance sake. Um, she is on our side, so if everything works out and we win, we can use her for something later. I do want to kind of um, expand the High Lordship of Drif Drifmar, maybe take uh, Massey's Hook and incorporate it into ours, or maybe um, Crackclaw Point this John over here. <laughs> I forget what the uh, High Lordship's called, but uh, at least that way we get a little bit of alliance. Uh, let's do get married to so just get the uh, shit from it. And then we'll pick something else. Let's wait until Rainier says okay about uh, letting Damon be guardian. Alright. So there we go. Hopefully they did not get paired off or any. Alright. So the one. I think the other one has a trap. Oh, she has an egg, I think. Yeah. So Bela actually has a dragon. So let's see if we can um, pair her off. We might have to give Rainier a gold for this. They might think that they're too low. But I'll actually do it. Right, let me see. Um, let me get back and see. I know he has. I thought he had a dragon. I could have swore he had a dragon. Hmm. That really sucks. We're gonna definitely have to get him uh, married to either a uh, Valarian or a uh, Targaryen. 
just so we can keep the genes pure. Because he doesn't even have the um, the incest thing, which really helps with uh, the dragon shit. So let's just get him married off to one of the kids. We'll do it with the one that has the dragon. There is uh, Alan, our grandson. He's second in line. He's drift marb. So we'll do that. We got him the guardian. I'm excited to accept your suggestion. Good. Now is Alan the squire. Hopefully he'll make me smart. I can always grant him a knife in there too. Alright. We got Mary. We're gonna get another mission. So forming a line with her in case something happens down the road. She is homosexual anyways. We probably won't have any kids. I'm not really worried about it. And even if we do, it doesn't matter. We have so many family members. Um I guess we could befriend her to make her like us a little more. And it may be, I don't know. I don't think the Valerian Sword thing is going to happen while he's alive. He's just way too old. So we'll befriend our Liege Lord. Let's get our men up because we're going to just go and attack to uh, one of the bigger size Rhaenyra forces. Alright, so our Septon, we'll just have him perform charity. I'm going to do any other one. Alright, so let's uh, change these guys out. So we got High Valyrian. We got. Oh, he was here the whole time? I didn't even know that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll use him. They're gonna need another commander, but I think we have enough men. Um, we could use our kinsmen for that one. Oh, we got one, two, three, four. We got more than enough uh, people to be commanders. But I kind of want to keep somebody there to uh, actually do the duties. So we'll put uh, the Rosby there. That way he can train the uh, children. He's got 18%, so that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to have Blackmont collect taxes for us. Um, everything else is pretty good. I was have him. Maybe uh, we have to probably do um, improved defenses because they are going to come and try to siege down our stuff. And we don't have the uh, best fort level. I don't think we even have 10. With him being there, we'll give us an extra one. So, maybe on pause. We should probably start working on that to get it up. Try to get it up to 10. I don't think we'll get it up to 10 before somebody starts sieging us down. Because you're good. They're going to come and siege Dragonstone down because it's her capital. And all they do is walk across and, and do that. So, we are going to get sieged down at some point. We're just not going to really be able to do anything about it. Um... We can't go in the armies either because we're a uh, hand. Oh shit, I gotta put those other guys in real quick. Um, I will like edit out some stuff where I'm just like doing crap so you guys don't have to sit there and wait. Um, which one did we just put on the council? So there's it right there. So we'll switch him out with Naaman. I think it's good enough for now. I'm gonna cut there, has a high opinion. We use him. Uh, let's make our other guys happy that we just took off the council. At least a little. Alright, and bodyguards. We'll put all the, the better fighters. We got Rosby. Anybody that's like a 70 is good. Uh, 75. There we go. And one more. So, dude, I'm just good. True. Alright, and our regent. We'll just pull one of our family members. Which one do we have here? Uh, yeah, we'll just use him. Alright, so everything's good now. So, we're gonna go ahead and, um... So, we're gonna already face the dragon. Um, a lot of times it works out. It just matters. Alright. We'll have Darren lead. Uh, Pyrrhon on that side, and then Aiden. Alright, so what we're gonna do is... They're coming over here, but that's like a smaller force. I think we're gonna go connect with those guys. Uh, there's no, there's no purpose of staying here, because the... Three daughters are going to come up with their boats like they do every time. And they're going to siege you down these islands. I, have, I, I had a couple playthroughs I did. They did it every single time. So uh, we can't really land on anything. So let's go over here. To, I, I wish you could like... Uh, what's it called? Like blockade with your boats. It would be so much better. It would give them a little more purpose, you know. So this is like 3,000 men here. So they got men coming right now. Maybe, you know, uh, maybe we should go back here and connect with these. Ah, uh, of course they're getting on the boat. 
So yeah, they, they leave this every time. The three daughters come here every time. Alright, so there's the betrayal. We might have to move Alan out somewhere. So, let's take... Uh, Alan's with Damon. So, he shouldn't get captured. But we have a lot of family members that can. Uh, the nephew, I don't really think, holds any war score. They're going up to Maiden Pool. I'm trying to see where there's a bigger stack we can uh, attach to. It's probably the biggest stack they got, to be honest. They're coming down here. So yeah, let's go up to, uh, let's go up here and connect with these guys. And then make it a little bigger of a force. I don't know where they're going. But we'll try to catch up to them. Yeah, they're gonna see, it would have been better if they'd have stayed there and then we could have connected. But of course they just take off. <laughs> Alright, uh, my lord, finances of the realm are in poor state. Dragonstone is in urgent need of gold. So I hereby request you provide a loan for House Targaryen. Uh, I will give you a loan in exchange for a favor. I'll probably need that at some point. Alright, so, man, can we catch him? My lord, fledgling new bank is granted one of its first loans. Lady Paramount Jane Eyre of the Vale is taking a loan at 160. So, <laughs> our wife is taking a loan. So, let's look. Um, we still, we're not, like I said, we're not going to have any, uh, we're not gonna have any people for a while. Where the hell did they go? Where the hell did they just go? That's weird. They just like disappeared. Hmm. I have no clue where they went. I don't think they're up here. Maybe they'll pop up. Let's go take out this smaller force real quick. There they are. All right, we'll take these guys out and then we'll go. Being such an industrious ruler, you have not gone unnoticed by the population of Griffmont. By paying the county elders a personal visit, they would surely be inspired, and the peasants would feel particularly appreciated. Small donation would also go a long way, of course. So yeah, we'll give them the money and give us some uh, boost. It's not that big. Close friend David Targaryen has served the Prince's Rhaenyra's council for some time now, a position he is well suited for. Alright, so let's, um, we're gonna take these guys out. And then we'll go up here, help them siege out. Heron Hall, it's only built to see. They got 20,000 men over here. With three daughters, it, 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 it's impossible to do anything with these islands. Now, we really need to make sure there's nobody that's gonna get taken that's really gonna, you know, hurt us. Our command, or like our uh, people in the council, there's really no thing we can do. Either we like, we have to put them all in hiding, and we really can't just say, hey, go into hiding. Uh, usually there's a thing up here when they start sieging you, but I just think if it's if you're like, uh, immediate families there. I don't recognize my friend Damon anymore. The things we had in common when we first met and became friends has changed and vanished. Whenever I meet him, I ask myself, is this person I want to be friends with? Can we really be friends despite all the differences? Of course. You're my friend to the end. Alright, so we're gonna be up here. We're gonna, uh, go ahead and connect. That way we got a big, a nice size force. Your granddaughter Raina tried to hatch a dragon egg, but failed. She managed to salvage her egg, however. So she's gonna try again in the future, you fool. <laughs> At least she salvaged the egg. She didn't get hurt in the process either. This happens every time I had, uh, did this too. Alright, let's make sure that... Oh cool, we got another loan. So we're getting loans quicker than I expected. I want to make sure nobody's, uh, please put him in, oh my god, I hate when they do this. They put him in stewardship poker instead of marshal. They're in the AI, man. AI never learns. Alright, so we're just waiting for her to become 14. We got like half a year. Alright, so we got another smaller one. So Lance is doing my Dragonfire here, Targaryen. Son of a bitch. So he's probably burning all our shit. Battle seemed to be going well when Shadow blocked out the sun. King Aemon the second descent upon the field on Dragonback, and all consumed in a frenzy of fire and blood. So there's no light over here. Sorry, there's hiccups. Oh, his dragon is maimed, so that's good. That at least happened. Yeah, they're completely just ravaging our land. Which, uh, I think we're up here with Damon, yeah. 
We took out Heron Hall. The, the, these islands just get completely screwed. Let's bring our boats over here. Keep them near us. Uh, the late nights. The way my wife Jane has stopped touching me and even looking at me. <laughs> now the whispers of her and that high-handed lesbian Jessim... Jessim... Red Fort. I can't take it anymore. Oh, I miss these little uh, events. Cousin Shore is a lover. Um, let's uh, let's confront the harlot. Let's not make our wife mad. Valent Prune admits having an affair with my wife. Sincerely asking for forgiveness and promise to stay away from my wife. Very well. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. So, I think what we need to do is. We need to try to kill either Aemon or Aegon because with him on Vagar, he's gonna really tear up a lot of shit. Let's see, invite him to court. <laughs> All right, um, plot to kill. We have a good chance with him, and we have a good chance with oh, this one. Um, why can't we? Uh, yeah, this isn't really that good. Sometimes it'll say that's all it is, but there's other people that'll be on there that you can um, buy off if they're like real high. Yeah, there's no chance of him. So we'll go to his brother. If we can take out Aven with Vagar, that would help our cause a little bit. There's probably some that we might have to buy off, but I think we might be okay. There's probably no reason to send our... Um, Spymaster, because he's just riding around, just dragging everywhere. We'll see how it goes without having to pay off anybody. Alright, so here we are, here. We're going for the Red Keep. Hopefully, they'll leave the island. A lot of times, they just sit there. So, if they leave the island, go somewhere else, we'll go take it back. It's going to be vital with the war score, because right now... Uh, the occupation for them. It's not as bad as I thought it'd be. They haven't taken Dragonstone yet, actually. Dragonstone does have a little better, uh, fort level, so... Well, not a little better. A lot. 15. Did we end up building the, uh, defenses yet? Uh, we got stolen from the occupation. That's what sucks. Oh, well. Um, we can offer some loans to people. Let me see. Are the Baratheon? Yeah, they're in it. I'm gonna offer him a loan. Uh, the Lannisters, I think, are on the side of... What you call it? So. Yeah, it's all people that we were uh, against. Hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna give them any money. I mean, other banks are probably gonna do it anyways. They have a lot of gold. So, um... Let's just give it to them. They don't really play out big of a part in the beginning. Oh, there's other people. It's just, they're the only ones that let us do. Here, we'll offer them a loan at 10%. It's not going to do any difference. They got a lot of money. Here. What? So the priest is, I don't know. Why for a to the high step and the most wicked lifestyle. Quite unsuitable for any septic, even more so for one exalted position. I hate how loud the battle is. <laughs> Always forget to turn it off. Alright, so already we got him up there. Yeah, 218. If we can take out him. Oh, he's stationary right now. In the red keep. Is that it? Yep. Let's just send the spy master real quick. It's not really going to add much to it. You know what I mean? But uh, we could have him uh, sabotage it too. Alright, let's prove the plan. He's just going. While it's going about your visit, you notice a great shadow looming in the sky over the horizon. As it gets closer, you realize the Princess Rhaenyra is riding atop of Dragon Cyrax. The graceful, they gracefully land on the highest tower in high, of high tide, the dragon letting out a loud roar. No doubt, this unannounced visit is designed to remind me of my... Oh, uh, she's... What is she doing? I had no... I wasn't trying to go against her, anyways. So, uh, now she fucked it up. <laughs> you dummy. She, oh, it always seems to happen every time I uh, play these Dancing Dragon. Today, my nephew, Sir Valentine, asked for a thief. Oh, no, you're not 
over it yet. We're not giving up anything. Uh, success! The snake performed its duty. The plum and pump Prince Eamon, full of a deadly venom, it slipped away into the night, and the guards are now too busy to contending with the string of lethal snake attacks to search for a responsible. So, we got rid of him. Now, Baylor is free for somebody to take. Where are our guys? Oh, there we go. We have a large force here. Really big force. So... They're getting beat by, they got beat by 75 men. All right, so we're gonna go back and take Driftmark. Hopefully they don't um come back and land on us. I think we'll stay as long, all right. So they just siege that out. Um, they're gonna go try help here. I guess we'll keep going, take these guys out. Attack. Great nephew, Sir Darren died. Now falls you decide with a big funeral, big special event. How did you kill him? Personal combat with Lord Daryl of Black Crown. Alright, uh, private one. News in the Battle of Adadale, my lord. Great nephew. Alright, yeah, I've already seen that. Alright, after this battle, we'll detach and go take back our land. We have, uh, 3,000 men. Uh, man. So we need another, uh, commander. Hmm. We really don't have anybody good. At all. Any Kingslanders? Anybody near us? Any High Valyrians? There's really nobody near us. So we're just have to go what we got. Yep. Nobody near us. We got Westford. She's not going to be able to be commander anyway. It doesn't matter. Alright. Uh, you're just going to have to get thrown in there. Suck, we can't help. We'd be better than what we have. Uh, let's appear in the middle. Oh, we are! Uh, she just doesn't have us doing anything right now. Huh. I guess we will join it just to get some extra morale until she makes us do something. Uh, what else do we need? Bodyguard? I'm not really worried about that right now. One of these guys. Yeah, they're, they're kind of trash. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna go to the boats and then go take back our land. They're over here, so I don't know if they're gonna end up coming back or not. God, we can't land there. Uh, what we got? Oh, oh yeah, so we should have our guy working on a claim over here. So I do want to try to incorporate this here, even though he, I think he's fighting against us right now. I oh, know he's helping. Uh, sharp point would be another one. It's just one little piece, but I'd rather have all that. So we're trying to incorporate that. I have a little like island, little thing, peninsula thing going on. Um, he's not that great, but whatever. We'll try it out. Yeah, we'll use it after the war. We're not gonna do it anytime soon. We can't really do anything right now. Uh, we're at 94%. If we take our homeland, I think we might win this. We're gonna take out these 40 men. Hopefully, we can get this quick. Mega Drift Mart has acquired a new powerful shareholder, Lord Mortimus Keldegar. The message. Necessary coin in order to buy is pre share. Oh, so we got some people now. I think it's probably. Oh, we did get a bunch of people. Usually, I, it, you have to wait till after the war. I've been by myself for the whole war before. Alright, we got these guys coming. Let's go ahead and uh, take these out. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and. Um, oh, we're at the leader? Who else is there? I hate when they do this. Like, you can easily tell. Alright, 100%. All hail her grace, Queen Rainier. Her grace, Rainier of House Targaryen, first of her name, Queen of the Andals, the Renard of First Men, Lord of Seven Kingdoms, Protector of the Realm. So that went a little quicker than I thought it was going to go. Um, there are going to be some breakoffs, which are already. Uh, the West decided to go independent. Yeah, North Cross, and then the Arbor. Probably going to be more. Alright, so where is our heir at? He's 16. He's a competent steward. Ugh. And he's content. We had to do a little bit of uh, stuff before he ends up uh, not wanting to do anything. And he makes it to where he's not allowed to come here. Point, point him to the King's Guard? Nah. I hope they don't do that. That's needs King's Guard. Um. There's no way we can actually um, 
She probably she probably already married off uh, his other daughter. Oh, he didn't. Yeah, there's nothing I can really think to do with. Ooh, is there a way? Nah, I don't think we can take it back with a uh, favor. It really sucks. Like, why can't we have our heir with us? <laughs> it makes no sense. Oh my god. I could kidnap him. You're coming home one way or the other. Alright, let's accept this marriage. Uh, we will do a, um, a wedding if uh, we're able to. Just have something. Alright, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Now, we need to help with the war. They're all very far away. I guess we could help with the West. I'm trying to see here. We really don't have a lot of men. We actually lost men, so if we drop these, we're gonna get a lot less men because uh, High Tide needs to build back up. So all the other ones. So we'll, uh, we'll go help. I don't know why she doesn't have us doing anything, but while she doesn't, we'll just uh, help out. Right, the quickest way to the west is just gonna probably be this one. We're going through this one. We can actually just land right there. Alright. Go over to Paint Hall. I don't know if we have enough men. Oh, uh, you want a favor? Who are you? Master of ships, old clubfoot. Genius! I didn't realize he was a genius. Um. Is he re-voting for anything? Uh, medium realm authority. I think it's give up more. Hmm. Where is he voting? Opponents. Yeah, I think I'm a little opposed to this. So I will accept. Uh, my lord received word that Dragon Sunfire, owned by Prince a Aegon Targaryen, has died in Castle Rock. Apparently, just fell asleep. Once. <laughs> so yeah, the, the other Targaryens will go over to. Uh... Oh, so none of the kids got killed. That is crazy. I've never seen that happen. I've always seen uh, one of them go. No matter who it is. Are they going to? Oh, can we do a, um, a wedding? Where the hell is he at? There we go. Post the wedding for him. Even though we're at war. Alright, now we're actually at duty, so we're going to have to put somebody in here. We might be able to pawn somebody now. Um, anybody near us? I don't see any, like, uh, Kingsland. There's one. Wheaton. Come to court, buddy. Help us, uh, deal with these, uh, rebels. We'll end it here in a minute. We'll do a long one for this first one, but, uh, like I said, next, uh, the next one we'll do is the Stormlands, and we'll do, you know, the same thing, see how it turns out. Uh, we'll spend lavish we got, We're gonna have money coming in, so... Right now, right now. We gotta be careful, though, these things... Oh, she named our nephew to the Kingsguard, even though he is terrible. He has, a uh, personal comments, because 75 all that bad. Do House of Valerian proud, Sir Bogar. Oh, uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put a spy. Oh, I don't have a spy master. <laughs> Why do we have this? She must be somebody's wife. Yeah, Black Month. She wants to be spy master. Fuck it, we'll let her. I'm gonna put her like right here, so we can see if the Lannister arm is coming. Mr. Corrin, who is performing charity work in your name, made ultimate sacrifice when he cornered by a desperate crop. A beggars and Driftmark trampled that. Ingrates. Yeah, we'll uh we'll hire him. Damn, it still got approved. Chittering tried to catch the dragon Vagar and failed. What would make you possibly do that? Like we probably could um, get one, but what happened to um? What keeps happening to my council members? 
Oh yeah, he just died. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a clean. I guess we don't really have to uh, improve the fences right now. Everybody's right. Let's do this. Oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough people. Oh, we're screwed. I oh, know, I'm gonna get out. Oh, why'd you do that? Oh my god. Fucking idiot, man. I hate when you do that. You like want to go here, but I forgot you gotta fucking press shift to do it. No, we're 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 canned. They're not even gonna try to come help. No, they tried. Okay. They were talking to one of my guests and found them most interesting. Hours flew by, wine bottles were empty, and other guests excused themselves and went to bed. Kept calling until we out. Come on, there right, we go. We got beat up though. Alan and Bela stripped their garments from the revelers and moved many a body search for them. During the war, the Iron Throne, Dragon Riders, Princess Elena Targoon, Dreamfire, and Sir Hugh Hammer and Vermiford met your combat. Sir Hugh and Vermiford prevailed. Elena's recalled. What did they make then? Why don't they got that circle like that? Like he's a commander or something. He is heir to the Black Cells. Dreamfire was killed. Vermeer was injured. We came out of that, but we lost most of all of them. And we need to go back and uh, recuperate. The Rock is um, calling himself King. <laughs> As hand of the king of the Iron Throne, you are entitled to a beautifully wrought badge of office to symbolize your authority. The badge of the hand marks you out as the right hand of the ruler, and you speak with their voice, with their voice. But the stress of a role may be bad for your health. Right, so we got a badge. I thought we already had it. Our wife has food poisoning. Good. We got a loan out to Black Woods. Yeah, we can't do nothing with five hundred men. Alright, the loans are pouring out. We'll get a um update soon. I'm gonna give you one every year. Show you how much you're gonna make. Oh, that's a nice one there. Tyrus. You get the big ones from the free cities. The Cadaver Council. <laughs> yeah, received strange news from the Council of the Most Devout. The former High Septon did by his actions and lifestyle so defile the faith that the current authorities decided to put his corpse on trial. The corpse of the High Septon was removed from its tomb, brought before the Most Devout for judgment. It was propped up on a throne. A Septon was chosen to speak for his legal representative. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the accused was found guilty of all counts and subjected to punishment most dire. The corpse was stripped of its holy vestments and then was interred in a graveyard normally reserved for foreigners of low status. Punishment will not be deemed severe enough the corpse then exhumed again tied to weights and cast into the sea. Good lord. Alright, so we are reinforcing here so I guess we could stay here. I don't think we're gonna reinforce any more than that many a month if we put went to Dragonstone. Alright, so we got one on the Lordship. I'm trying to get one on the High Lordship, but we'll, we'll take that. We'll keep them there. Hopefully, we'll get the High Lordship. Alright, Alan and Bela already had a kid. Lane or I guess we will uh, name him after our son. He's gonna be 
Next in line at, well, no, third in line. Lanor. Where is our air? And what is he doing? We need to get him air. He's like, I don't understand how the war, the Civil War is done. He should be able to come home. I'm like, why is your air just like not able to come to where he's going to rule? It makes no sense to me. I can understand uh, in the beginning. As I entered the gates, I was greeted by a large barking dog. My horse was frightened and started to rear. It was just about to draw my blade to slay the beast when I saw my master whisperers, Sylvain. Come running, shouting, bad dog, this is our friend that we're supposed to protect. The dog then stopped barking and rolled around, placed it on its back. So we get some plot power defense. Good, good. Let me see. Um, I wonder if I can get any more reinforcements. Monford, he's got Tessarion, that was, um, Darren's, Darren's, I guess his name. So our nephew has a dragon. This happens a lot to our, uh, whole family to start scooping up dragons. Higher tier, yeah, when they're with, like, the queen or king, they are not gonna come to you. Unless they don't like her, of course. Um, uh, let's see, is there anybody we can marry him to? I guess we could do that, keep the blood pure. There's nothing I can think of using. We can't use it for an alliance or anything. Alright, let's do that. Um, we need to get her a guardian, because I don't think she has one. Alright. Yeah, we're only doing 20 a month, regardless of where we are. We might as well go back to King's Landing. They're whooping them up. It's just, the red ones a little harder because they're so far away. Uh, they might, well, we can actually, if we reinf uh, reinforce our men. Hold on, let me see. Let's, uh, let's try this to give us extra boost. I don't know if it's going to do it while we're over here. Alright, she is stewardship. We need to find her guardian real quick. Alright, we'll be a guardian. What? Be a hostage? Are you kidding me? Uh, I can use that. Yeah, what is use the fucking favor on it? I don't think we're going to need it. You know what, no. Let her turn out how she wants to turn out. Rhaenyra's gonna make her trash, so if they wanna stay over there, you stay over there. Galfred. Dude. I always usually put them in duty unless like they come out like strong or something. Um, there's nothing else you can really think of doing. Yeah, nobody else thinks of doing right now. Alright, we're just gonna let our guys be enforced a little bit they are. It's now up to 24. Prince Aegon. What? How'd he take Vagar? That's weird. It's maimed anyways. So I don't think it's gonna do much. Marina tried to catch she has the worst luck with uh, dragons. I'm telling you. There's another one though, I'm giving it. It's like, why don't they we're a hand of the king, like, there's, how is there going to be a hostage? <laughs> like, it makes no sense. I'm trying to uh, get up and up, and then we can take our boats down here and take this, because there's really no... Blackwoods are down here. I just don't think they have enough men to do it. Oh, it's went up a little more. It was like a thousand. Um, yeah, they're helping out. Are there any little ones on there? Yeah. Hopefully... This doesn't take so long. By the time we reinforce up enough, how many does he have down here? It was a thousand, so we'd have enough to siege it down. So they're gonna have to go down there. Maybe they're already. Uh, maybe the throne might be going. To, you know, we'll just add to them if we don't. You know, it's gonna take too long sitting here trying to reinforce. So we'll just add. There's gonna be people coming down here because it has to be sieged out. Who the hell's this? Peasant Revolt, 3,000 men. Of course, it's in the Iron Throne. Uh, there's way more than enough men up there to deal with that. One battle is going to be over anyways. So, wait for our ship to get here. We'll join up with the uh, Blackwoods. Still not going to be enough, but there should be uh, some people coming at least. Oh, 
Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, I don't know. Maybe we might have to physically join it. No. Stop. Get the fuck out of here. Who's this? Rayla. So that's from uh, House Ceres or whatever it's called. So they got Morgul. That was actually... I thought that was Bayless. Hold on a second. What's going on? Alright, so... She carries has an egg. She has all her kids, which is, uh... Never really happens. Where's that one at? Where is her? Oh, uh, no, no, no. I thought it was hers. She has Moon Dancer, okay. I thought one of the sisters. Uh, we got another loan. So we'll start making money off that, though. We won't really have much of a need of money. Alright, uh, so now we join the war, we can actually uh, join with them. So here comes the uh, Iron Throne. Hopefully, they have enough men. Yeah, right, we have enough men now to siege this down. So we got her just in the nick of time. They must have people up there. Oh, she gave him the... Oh, what an asshole. I thought, man, that was why I was trying to befriend her. So that she would pass it off to us, but... The fist of Paranol. She gave him Dragonstone instead of the carries. Which is fucking stupid. <laughs> the carries. They're all half brothers. Shit, the carry that actually turned out pretty good. Gray Eminence. He has Vermax. Not bad. He's just gonna make us an advisor, so we're not hand anymore, which kind of sucks. But oh well. Uh, we switched over to Damon because she uh, gave it to him. I guess we can try to do Balearian Sister. I don't think it's gonna happen in our lifetime. I think it's gonna be close to dying soon. Revoke is. Ah, okay, I was about to say, what is she revoking? It shouldn't take much time. Here we go. The dragons are here now, it's over. Probably can just wait here until it's over and then drop them in. Alright, at least now we can uh, boost back up. So we're an advisor. I really don't want to be a commander in his army. Um, they climb. Um, I'm thinking if I should just go at him now. Uh, he has Brams for it, but we have to fail. We have to wait, boost our men back up a little bit. We, we are completely uh, trashed. He, he doesn't have anybody. But we still need to boost up our men a little. What do we got here? Anybody need a lunch? <laughs> New Lord Commander. Baron Waterman. North. Who was the one last? Brandon Tallhorn. It's always usually like a Northman. I see a lot of Ironborn too. Alright, so the wars are done. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one episode or split it up. Uh, there are some little wars going on. Increase council power bullshit. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna try. He's actually considered independent right now. How many men can I raise up? Is it even enough? I don't even know if I can do any right now. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I have no men to raise. Like, I literally have no army. <laughs> even though I just dropped this men, I still, like, I have enough. That's so crazy. Uh, Alan. No, you're not. Oh my god. How do you have Damon and then fucking ends up incompetent? Shit makes no sense. Uh, probably because they switched it all around, they took him off as, uh, as Guardian, which really pisses me off. But what can you do? The kids all suck. <laughs> Mm. Oh, he was 80. I'll put Warwick in there. So right now, we're just going to put the ROM back together. What's going on with this now? Oh, there. Oh, my God. Now you're trying to vassalize him. Son of a bitch. 
All right, so our bank current interest rate is 30, and Rogar is 15. Karth is 15. We'll just do normal. Then Bishop would help me reach great places and acquire some wealth during the way. It's always a nice bonus. So we got 12 gold. Ooh. All right, so there we go. The Bank of Driftmark has, been promising, has a promising beginning. Several loans already being issued. So we are making 28 gold profit. Current corn reserves are 263. Outstanding loans right now, 654. Once the bigs make a profit. It has enough gold in reserve, so we will start to um, make a profit here. It takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it in the end to me, I think. Well, let's take a look at the bank. We got a lot, uh, some more members now. Bartimus is going to be our, uh, going to take over. I thought Alan was in here. What else is on that? Are we here recruiting? Come home, dude. Oh my god, it's so stupid. Try to bring him into the bank. I don't think you can request uh, or bring him in like that. It sucks because I'd want um want our people in here. All right. This is dumb, man. This is gonna fucking betroth me to the five-year-old. It's just in case they don't, you know, put in with somebody crazy. I wanted to put in with the other, uh, the other sister, but this dude's a beast, Dalton. He's kind of fun to play, though. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and... Alright, they want me to take the series. Yeah, I'll take it. Let me make him, you know, can't make him a scar? No, he already is, alright. What is he? He's only nine. I guess they just took him in. Now he doesn't have his, uh, what you call it. He's got no men, neither do we. So, we're gonna have to wait to build these guys up. I might just let them, uh, build up. Nothing's going on. Uh, off camera. We'll get it and stop here. Um, like I said, we'll, we'll go back with the Stormlands. Same scenario. We'll see how it turns out. So I uh, will see you guys in the next one.